Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to learn how to draw a reindeer with a string of lights. You need a pencil, a sharpener if your pencil is not sharp, an eraser, marker if you have it, crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Whatever you have to color will be fine. So today we're going to start. I'm holding my paper portrait up and down. This is not a really big drawing piece of paper. It's one of my drawing pads um, that I love to just keep collecting and drawing my little things in. So it's a nice size. So if you have a piece of um, Xerox paper and you can use that, you can even fold that in half. And this would probably be right around that size. So to start off, we're gonna do like a ghost drawing. We wanna be able to get our reindeer's head and then some antlers. So you gotta leave a little bit of room on the side. So again, I'm gonna do a ghost drawing and I wanna do kind of like a half an oval. Okay. The next part that we're gonna do is an oval kind of going the other way. I'm drawing in pencil today. I usually draw markers because this one, this drawing has a lot of intersecting lines that I know I'm gonna need to erase. Okay. I love these white erasers. I find that the erasers that are on the pencils are not as good as they used to be years ago. So I always like using a separate eraser, okay? We're gonna put our reindeer's big nose. We're gonna draw a little bit of a highlight. That means that the light is shining in that area. We're gonna make a cute little mouth kind of off to the side, kind of making it kind of a little bit cartoonish. Two half circles or I would call it an upside down U. I like to give a little eyelashes, but that's totally up to you. Next thing we're gonna do is a little bit of wispy hair up at the top, or what they would call a mane on an animal. We're gonna make ears. And I wanna kinda make my ears kinda not so perfectly symmetrical, give it a little bit of character. And we're gonna draw these little antlers. So, it's just a series of curved lines, okay? And you wanna mimic what you have over there on this side. So sometimes that's hard. So you, you are drawing lightly with pencil in case you make a mistake and you need to erase it, you can. Okay. Let me put on eyebrows. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to make, he kinda has a skinny neck. And he's gonna have a scarf because it's winter time and he's outside. And I always like to make my scarves look like they're blowing in the wind. And I like to make fringe, not perfectly straight. So that too looks like it's more realistic and blowing again in the wind, showing you some movement. I'm gonna make a nice stripe. Next thing, part of his body is going to be his hands, or his legs, I should say. And they're going to be holding a string of lights. So I want to make kind of like a hoof. Okay. And same thing on the other side. There we go. Next thing that we want to do is we want to have string of lights hanging from his antlers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look like it's tied here. Like a ribbon. And then hanging from those lights, or from that wire, is going to be lights. And it's just a series of making this same shape over and over again. It kind of looks like a little basket with a bulb. Space about, try to space them the same distance apart. And I could squeeze one more in over here. Okay, and we want to do a string of lights here right through his front paws or his front legs. Okay, so let's go. Again, that same shape.
And we are just about done. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to outline it with Sharpie marker. If you don't have Sharpie marker and you wanna use a crayon, colored pencils, or other markers that you might have, that is perfectly fine. I'm just gonna zip along and I'm gonna outline with my Sharpie marker. Alrighty, so I'm just tracing over all of those lines that I've already made. Okay, I think I'm going to choose crayons. I happen to love these. These are jumbo crayons. Super simple to hold in your hands. I'm going to get a brown. I'm going to get a red for his nose. Nice green for the lights. Maybe some pink. And maybe some yellow. Alright, so I'm going to make my reindeer's nose red because he's going to be Rudolph. If you don't want him to be Rudolph and you want to just make his nose black, go right ahead. I also like to make little rosy cheeks. Kind of color inside of his ears. Boys doing this, you don't have to draw hearts. You can just draw stripes like that.
think I'm gonna finish it off with a couple snowflakes in the background just to give it a little bit more interest. it off with one of my favorite colors, this turquoise color. Kind of doing it reverse. Instead of a blue background with white flakes, I'm making my flakes blue. And I'm going to call this reindeer done. So good luck drawing, take your time. You can back the video up and watch it at your own pace, but I can't wait to see your little reindeers. And again, for you to do a boy version, if you don't want to put eyelashes, that's fine. And your scarf doesn't have to have hearts, they can have whatever designs that you want. So good luck, I can't wait to see what you make.